Here's problem 9-1. A 1.2 kilogram object moving with a speed of 8 meters per second collides perpendicularly with a wall and emerges with a speed of 6 meters per second in the opposite direction. If the object's in contact with the wall for 2 milliseconds, what is the magnitude of the average force on the object by the wall? All right, so if we're thinking of force and average force, we're thinking change in momentum over change in time. So if we can calculate the change in momentum of, um, of the object, then we can calculate the, the external force on it. So let's try to visualize what's going on here. We have an object hitting the wall. So here's our wall. And the uh, initial speed is <clears throat> 8 meters per second. And then it's going to rebound off the wall. And it'll have a final speed of 6 meters per second. But it's going in the opposite direction. So if we're defining a velocity here, we would say the final velocity is actually a negative 6 meters per second. We have to define one direction as positive and the other direction as negative. Um, we just have to do that for the vector. So, with this in mind, our change in velocity, which is our final velocity minus our initial velocity, is a negative 6 minus 8, or a negative 14 meters per second. And that means that our change in momentum, which is the mass times the change in velocity, would be the mass, 1.2 kilograms, times a negative 14, and that will be a negative 16.8 kilogram meters per second. Oops kilograms, meters per second. All right, so that's our change in momentum. That means that our force is our change in momentum over our change in time, or at least our average force. And that's going to be negative 16.8 kilogram meters per second over 2 milliseconds. 2 times 10 to the minus 3, and that gives us negative 8,400 newtons. Now, uh, it asks for the magnitude of the average force, so if we're just looking for the magnitude then that's just 8,400 newtons. Because we really could have defined this with the wall on the left hand side and then our final velocity would have been positive, our initial velocity would have been negative and we would have had a magnitude of the force of the same, 8,400 newtons. So it was just a matter of which direction we chose as to whether this force was positive or negative. But uh, that's our answer, 8,400 newtons. <laughs>